afternoon. Uh, had a busy weekend this weekend, and I'm trying to alternate my videos so it's sort of one one upgrade of the Lou video and, and one other video, so they get boring. These are the the switches I'm using, the reed switches, and uh, I think this is a sort of a 16 mil hole, nice big washer and then a nice big thick chunky nut and um, when it's down uh, they, the, the circuit's open when it's up the circuit's closed and uh, your current or your voltage will pass through um, so for the low low water center it's, it's going to be like that so it's always floating the water's going to be well up here and then when the water drops below that drops cuts the circuit and for the high water fill it will be the other way around so when the water butt is filled from another source as soon as that floats it breaks the circuit now I'm having to use with these uh, some 12 volt relays because these uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, little reed switches can't take more than 500 milliamps and they are meant to be AC we're using them on DC so uh, we're using these little uh, relays. I actually got these from Maplins because my ones didn't turn up. N07EE. I got painty fingers as well. Uh, 10 amp. Focus. 10 amp. Uh, 12. Uh, 277 volts or 12 amp at 30 volts DC. And they are should be man enough because the pump only runs sort of. 3 amp, if that. Uh, <laughs> something caught me out. I assumed, because these are 5 pin, so you've got normally open, normally closed, in common, and your coil. I assumed the bottom one's a coil. And I even looked up on, on the uh, Maplin's website, and uh, it took me ages of messing around to actually figure out that the coil is actually top left, top right. My fingernails are already dirty, but I've been working really hard this weekend, as I said. Yeah, so coil is there and there. That's common. Uh, normally open. Uh, I actually can't remember. I haven't got a meter to hand. Um, anyway, you can figure that out by using the mold meter. Anyway, so what I've done is basically I've got a box on the wall up there which has three relays in. Uh, one for filling it up, one for taking too much water out, and one for the loo. So they will be in use sooner or later, but I've only got a couple in there. Uh, I actually only have three of these. I ordered five, but over the period of time, they've been filed, and I, I cannot find where they are. And somewhere between me mocking up my uh, my circuit and uh, put it into the box, I mucked something up and accidentally put uh, the pump through one of these switches without the relay and uh, they go quite spectacularly this is the spare one this is the one I blew up and it's, it's pushed through the casing it, it is solid cheap pliers so whatever is pushed through the casing I, I can't even see that, so it's, it's metallic. It's actually blown a hole in the side. Um, so relays are a must. I've ordered some more of these because I quite like these. They're very loose. Nothing to stop them getting stuck up or nothing to you know, obstruct them. They're very loose. Whereas the switch that is currently in the loo is a proper bilge pump switch. And uh, I'm disappointed with it, to be honest, because every so often... Uh, you flush the loo and it doesn't go down it stays where it is so the next person who comes to use the loo uh, goes excuse me but your loo is broken well it hasn't it's just uh, it got stuck uh, I guess that's from the uh, the sediment and the uh, sort of lime, lime scale I guess I don't know, in the rainwater and it's just getting it stuck and every so often you have to go around it with a toothbrush well not, not my toothbrush or, I, or Amy's toothbrush just an old toothbrush make that clear and uh, and every so often, when it's flushed, the switch goes down, 
but it doesn't come back up. So it empties my entire water storage, and uh, that happened last night. So uh, I emptied a good 200 litres of water, and my low water switch didn't work because I'd blown it. So the pump was running all the way through to the morning, and although it's a bilge pump and it is meant to run dry, we don't like doing that. So I'm going to make up a mount for this, pop it in the loo, and uh, hopefully that will solve our problem. But what I'm going to do actually is, remember I used the little sections of uh, the ducting, well this is one I cut in half for uh, the project, the 100 by 50 ducting, meant for extractor fans. It's just a section of that, I'm just going to cut that there, glue that to the side of the loo as it stands. Drill a section, a series of holes coming down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna do them individually because obviously it's got wires in it. If you want to adjust it, you just want to pull it out a bit, put it down, push it in the next hole. Just adjust it because at the moment my system doesn't have any adjustments. So this, uh, let's do this here now, shall we? Just uh, roughly. So you'd have one hole, and then you stagger it so the next one is. The next one is there. So once you draw these, the holes will sort of join and you'll be able to pull the cables through the middle. Well, I guess you'll see that in the next video. Uh, so yeah, that, that is the reason, well, that is the result of putting three amps through one of these tiny little reed switches. Did make me jump though. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, and uh, I'll put some funny things, uh, a funny clip on the end, uh, something that happened when we were painting the house earlier. Yeah. The moose has truly shamed itself. I'm taking it a carrier bag because it's had an accident. <laughs> I have you two carrier bags. <laughs> I'm just standing here laughing still. I'm stuck. Oh well, you just have to stay like it then. Do you want the Asda carrier bag or the big carrier bag? Camera battery's about to go flat. <laughs> Are you off yet? What? Who's <laughs> making all that noise? She is. Me? I'm sorry. That's right. She's had an accident. <laughs> oh, hold on. I've got to get a phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still dying. <laughs> Only I. What difference that made?